Hey there, interesting new study coming out of Stanford. Identical twins, vegan versus omnivore, who does better? My name is Dr. Brooke Goldner from Goodbye Lupus, and I just wanted to share this really interesting study with you that is now making the round. CNN was just promoting it, where researchers at Stanford took 22 sets of identical twins and they put them on a diet for eight weeks. And what's really interesting about this study is they did it in a way that was very different than what we've seen before. First of all, this study looked at identical twins. What better way to study the impact of an intervention than to use genetically identical people? So what they did is they took these identical twins and what was put on a healthier vegan diet, I'll tell you a little bit more detail in a second, and the other, uh, the other twin was put on a healthier omnivore diet. And then they compared what happened to them in terms of their weight, their cholesterol, blood sugar, and other factors. And the results were very significant. The other thing that was interesting about the study that was different than others done before is that these people were generally healthy. They were not obese. So previous studies looked at diet in people with heart disease and diabetes. These were folks that were actually already considered fairly healthy to begin with. And the other thing that was different was that the comparisons were uh, uh, using a healthier omnivore diet. So they took out sugar, they took out a lot of the saturated fat and a vegan diet that was actually more like how vegans really eat. Previous studies were looking at super low fat vegan diets where this was actually moderate to high fat in many cases and even included some processed vegan meats. So not as healthy as many plant-based doctors teach and yet still the results were significant. Here's what they found. Those that consumed the healthy vegan diet showed significantly improved LDL cholesterol, fast insulin levels and weight loss compared with twins consuming the healthy omnivore diet. And this is in only eight weeks. Now, what's important to remember is that both were put on healthier diets than they were on before. So they were taken off of the standard American diet or the standard Western diet, and they were put on healthier diets. So both groups were given whole grains, lots of vegetables, low sugar, and we're really trying to put them both on what would be healthier diets. And both groups did have benefits, but the benefits were far greater on the vegan diet. Uh, on the first four weeks, they were actually fed they were given their food. And then the second four weeks, they were left on their own. And yet still those differences showed up. The vegans, they showed a, a menu for the first week, uh, strawberry almond oatmeal, blueberry oatmeal, tofu scramble, but with vegan sausage, coconut curry, uh, chickpeas, quinoa, black bean with tofu and even plant-based chickens. So I would say this is not a super healthy vegan diet, but probably a more typical vegan diet. But the other folks were eating things like egg whites with turkey, bacon, and Brussels sprouts, mushroom and spinach frittata, chicken fajita scramble. So foods that were considered much healthier than what standard Americans eat. So what they concluded in the study is that clinicians should really be looking at recommending plant-based diets to their patients, especially if they have cardiac or metabolic diseases. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how to reverse diseases and get healthy on a plant-based diet, I've got good news for you. I have classes online that are free right now through January 1st, where you can learn all the information, the foods that make you sick, the foods that are necessary to get your health back. It's all free and it's there for you because I want every one of you to get as healthy as you can. And hey, if you have a twin, bring them along for the ride. This is Dr. Goldner from Goodbye Lupus. I'll see you next time.